Hey everybody, can't wait to get into today's show. It's called The Scar Protocol. And the reason why it's named that is I want to be able to help you with acne-based scars, keloid bodies, or even recovering from surgery where scars may be forming. We're gonna go over that simple three-step process. It is research-backed, no doubt about it, and used in the real world as well. So hopefully by the end of this, you will understand how your skin heals. And especially as you get older, when you don't have as many stem cells, why it's very important to start quickly to stop scars from not only uh, th forming a thick fibrin layer on the skin, but also the discoloration that may come with it. What I want to give you is the three best products that I found in their category. I'm not sponsored by any one of these that help people with old scars or even new ones. So I'm gonna give you exactly what I gave my client and believe it or not, I'm gonna try the same thing because I always test things on myself as well. Of course, if it's, if it's able to be done by me, that's when I do it. So here's what I wanna share with you first. How these scars form is that typically there is an injury or there's surgery. And what happens then is the body goes into an inflammation-based state. So the body's either been injured right? It's been hit or it's been cut open from a scar and now there's inflammation. Well, that inflammation then leads to a proliferation of fibrin and immune cells going that area to clean up, but also to repair. And then it leads to a remodeling based phase. Here's the issue. Typically, when we're over the age of like eight years old or so, we're not producing as much as many stem cells. And so when the skin begins to remodel, it does not remodel like naive or new skin. So it's a little raised, right? Scars are typically a little bit thicker. There's a little bit more fibrin that leads to that thickness, that tissue thickness. And there's a discoloration from the melanocytes and the skin pigmentation in itself. So typically that's a little, a couple shades darker than your typical skin. So here's what you can do. There are formal formulas now that have been clinically tested to lighten the discoloration and also reduce the thickening so that it levels back out with your skin. And believe it or not, they actually work. So let's get right into it right now. This is a simple formula, by the way. It will take you no more than two to three minutes per day to be able to implement. All right. So I've got three products. I'm gonna go through them right now. The first product I wanna share with you, why don't I go in order that I would essentially use them? So the first product is gonna be a GHKCU serum. So this one, Dumi, it looks like is the company name. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link them all up because I'm not giving medical advice, so I can link these up here. So at stephencabral.com slash 3428. This right here, you can actually see it's a copper-based serum. And you see how dark blue that is? That's a real legitimate blue. A lot of companies out there try to sell you the GHKCU, which are the copper peptides serums, but they're like 1%. I think this is like 12%. This is, a, this is the highest natural serum for copper-based peptides that I could find. So now this is what's gonna help you with the skin rejuvenation. You can actually use this outside of scar-based formation. You could use it on your skin in general, but again, I'm just using this on these cuteloid bodies specifically first, and then I might try it maybe on my face in the future. But this is a copper-based serum. A little goes a long way. This bottle will last you months. So you're just gonna dab a little on your finger. It doesn't need to be diluted. Put it directly on the scar, rub it in for about a minute. The act of massage itself helps to break down fibrin. So that's really important. All right, so that's product number one, GHK. CU, these are copper peptides. It helps with a collagen formation. It improves the anti-inflammatory responses of the body. And it's a, a great overall anti-aging based product. All right. So I'll, I'll give you how long to use these in just a moment. All right. So that, that I would use twice a day. I'll talk about the whole routine at the end. The next one is a product called Scanuva Scar. This is mainly a silicone-based product. So silicone has been used for decades in order to be able to help scars or reduce scars overall. And essentially what it creates is a barrier over the scar itself and then enables your body to go through that healing process, keeping moisture in 
and enabling the breakdown again. I keep saying fibrin, but that's really what it is. When it's, there's a raised surface, there's a hardening of that that is from that excess fibrin formation. So Scanuva helps with uh, growth-based factors. One of the amazing ingredients inside of it is actually called an onion extract. They take an extract specifically from onion. The, the less expensive product to Scanuva is called Mederma. You might have heard of that before. This is clinically proven to outperform both silicone and Mederma. So a great product. 80% improvement of surgical scars in just three to, in about three to six months. So this one, clinically proven. The GHKCU, it's got great studies on collagen formation, overall great for the skin. So that's why this was chosen for my client. Scanuva, specifically for lessening the thickness of the scar and the discoloration over three to six months. So it's called Scanuva. And it's actually recommended by quite a few physicians as well, post-surgery. The last one I wanted to share with you is, it's newer to me. So this, I've known about silicone, I've known about the GHKCU. Uh, this one is newer to me. Of course, my wife gives me the recommendation. She knows a lot of these great things. I go, I check out the science behind it. I'm like, oh, this is legitimate. There is clinical science behind this formula. It's called Tronc. T-R-O-N-Q-U-E. And they have a few different formulas. This is a really high-end, amazing company. Beautiful bottle. And this uh, is their scar concentrate formula. So why would I choose this then for my client? Well, truthfully, this is best in class at getting rid of the discoloration. So when you're saying, okay, how do I reduce the thickness? Silicone, and then Scanuvo, right? How do I improve overall collagen synthesis of the body and angiogenesis, meaning blood flow, GHKCU? What is the best for reducing color on the skin, on those scars, trunk, scar concentrate? It is a plant-based product that is really second to none. It helps with reducing inflammation, so stop that inflammatory-based process from creating more and more scar thickness. Improves overall texture, texture, but I would say in a class all on its own on anti-pigmentation, not allowing that pigmentation to get darker and darker. So it's a great product actually to pair with the others, but if you were just worried and concerned about a not necessarily the thickness of the scar, but maybe an older scar, and it was the discoloration, then Trunk would be the product to go with, and that's my probably highest recommendation. A couple of the standouts that I put in there is the um, Kakadu Plum, which has high vitamin C, so it's a nice vitamin C-based concentrate there. And uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but we'll go for it anyways. Bakukiel, which is a vitamin A alternative, so a retinol-based alternative, all natural. So a great, great plant-based compounds and really deep hydration for the skin. I have my client using this before bed, but you can also use it twice a day if you'd like. So let me give you the whole routine now. So it's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can do this too to three times per day. But after you take your shower in the morning or you've cleansed wherever the scar-based area is, you'll always start with the GHKCU if you're using that. And that's that blue-based peptide serum. And so you're gonna rub that over the scar or wherever you choose to. And then in the morning, you're going, so you're gonna rub that in completely, let it dry just a little bit. You don't have to let it dry all the way. And then you'll add the Scanuva. And the Scanuva is more the silicone-based product and the onion extract-based product. So that's great, that's gonna help with the texture. Now, in the evening, you will wash that scar-based area again, get off any of the silicone that has been left. You will then reapply the GHKCU, and then you will use the trunk overnight. This is an oil versus a gel. The Scanuva is a gel, the GHKCU is a serum. It has like a serum -y type feel to it. And this is an oil, the trunk. So the trunk you'll use at night, um, let it rub all the way in, of course, before you get into bed. So it won't come off on anything. And that's a great, easy way to do it. If you were leaning more towards are the scars more thickness, you could do the Scanuva one more time a day. You could do it midday if you wanted to. If you were really trying to say, I want to get rid of the darkness of the scar, then you'll go with the trunk twice a day. All right. So Pretty simple, you can customize it based for you. Like I said, I customized all this for my client. And then really important, make sure that your scar does not get UV rays from the sun. So one of the ways I think that the, the keloid scars that I have, and they're just on my thigh, honestly, no big deal. But I'm testing this out because I like to test these things out. So the science is there, the science is strong, but I want to test this out myself. So here's the issue. You have to cover the scar with some type of 
suntan or block, sunblock or suntan lotion, right? So I typically always recommend a natural zinc oxide. So you'll use that during the day. Make sure that those scars don't get any UV rays. Important to look at. All right. So I'd be remiss. So I'm going to run this real quick. If you do things internally, which you should, so the body heals inside out. That's just the way that it works. So if you want great skin, if you want to improve overall scars or any of these things, just make sure you're giving the body the nutrients that it needs. Vitamin C, zinc and copper, collagen-based peptides, that's my list for you. And then if you can get a couple extras, vitamin D3, overall important for the immune system, immune system modulation, and glutamine. So what do you use in, what do we use in our product? Healthy gut support, that's the glutamine and zinc. Pretty simple, right? Daily nutritional support has all your B vitamins, protein. It has your zinc and copper, and then even vitamin C in there, and then advanced collagen support. So even if you were to only use three, healthy gut support, daily nutritional support, and the advanced collagen support. Three products, mix them in a shake. That's it. It's three powders. You're good to go for the day. Honestly, you could even mix it with your favorite protein if you wanted to. So that's how we do it. Um, that is the scar base protocol. It is the best science has to offer at this moment. The very best products. If they come up with better products in the future, you know that I will update this protocol. Hopefully this was helpful. All the links, we, I can't link up nutritional summits, but all the links for the scar base products will be at stephencabral.com slash 3428. Have an amazing day, everyone. I'll talk with you soon. Take care. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.